What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage. On today's episode, we're going to show you how I built this Baja inspired roof rack for our diesel deuce project. I've been wanting to build this thing for a while. I think it turned out freaking sick and uh, can't wait to get this thing finished up so we can see what that diesel will put out. So uh, let's get right into this. I'm using one inch 14 gauge tube for this build. First, I measure out the width of the roof and bend the overall design to match it. These deuce frames have a wedge shaped roof so I did 85 degree bends on each side. I keep these pieces left over from a hole saw bit to cap off and thread in the end of the tubing. Guys, we're gonna take a real quick break to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Strapino. Strapino has the highest quality ratchet straps I've ever seen. I am in love with these things because everybody knows if you own ratchet straps, you have a truck or a trailer in either the bed or the back seat, you have a big old jumbled, messy, tangled up pile of ratchet straps. And I try to every time after a trip where we're loading and unloading stuff to wrap up my ratchet straps really nicely. But let's be honest, it takes about 20 minutes and sometimes that don't happen. Strapino, you're not going to have to worry about that because they pull right out and they retract right back in. You don't have to worry about rolling everything up nice and neat. Once you're done, you unhook it. It's going to suck itself back into the spool and you're ready to go. They also have a bunch of different styles of hooks. These have the D-rings as well as the super heavy duty hooks. You can get them with a Cleva style. You can also get straps that you run through your frames uh, to put multiple straps on one chassis. These things are super handy and we've been using them for a couple weeks now. And I'm telling you guys, I absolutely got rid of every ratchet strap I own and Strapino is my go-to ratchet strap. It's awesome to be supported by companies like this because they make a great product and I hope you guys will check them out by clicking the links in the video description. I'm telling you, they're awesome. They're gonna save you a lot of headaches, save you a lot of room. The retractable ratchet strap from Strapino. Thank you guys uh, for checking them out and thank you Strapino for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back at it. For the top portion of the rack, I added 45 degree bends at the end of the hoop. With how this tubing notcher is set up, sometimes the tube will hit the bottom of my vice setup, so I have to get a little bit creative to do certain notches. I 
I made these feet to weld on the bottom portion of the light array to make it adjustable. Instead of having to adjust each individual light pod, we can adjust them all as a unit. Now I'm going to weld 14 tabs, that's two per light, so we'll have seven light pods across this light array. Now I'm going to make a small turnbuckle using these 3 8 heim joints. You can find links to all these parts that I use in this video in the video's description. These are super high quality QS component heim joints. We've been using them for years and absolutely love them. To make it a little bit easier to adjust, I took a 5 8 nut drilled out the center to three quarters so it'll sleeve over the three quarter inch tube we used on the turnbuckle. We can TIG it on the place and we got a fully done turnbuckle.
So guys, I hope you like the Baja style, uh, Baja inspired roof rack for the deuce. Uh, we didn't get to finish everything on it. Um, we don't have any mesh to put in the floor and we do have to add a few more cross braces and I'm out of the clamps that I'm gonna be using to clamp this to the tubing. Uh, and we're gonna do some dimple dyed material in these openings. But overall, that's uh, pretty much how to do this build. Super simple, every go-kart or buggy is different. Like I said, this has a wedge-shaped roof. The front is wider than the back, uh, so that's why we did the 85-degree bend, but super sick. You just loosen up the jam nuts, which we don't even have tightened. Then you and a friend can just adjust each one to get your angle of all the lights, and then it's good to go. We also put these waterproof, uh, I think they're called Deutsch connections, on every single light. So just in case these Chinese light pods, one of them dies, we can take off one individual one instead of daisy chaining them together uh we just put each individual light having its own connector uh, but i think it turned out awesome the deuce i think it fits the deuce really well uh it makes it look like an overlanding style vehicle and that's what we was going for with the turbo diesel engine guys i hope you liked today's video make sure to check out those links in the video's description where you can find the strapino ratchet straps they are I'm telling you guys the highest quality best ratchet strap i've ever owned the fact that they roll themselves up saves me a ton of time and the quality over like 10 and 20 dollar ratchet straps are uh, above and beyond they're super nice quality and they are amazon links and they help us continue to do videos just like this so i hope you guys uh, appreciated the content Make sure to leave a comment. Let us know what you want to see done to this deuce, like maybe finished. Uh, we are working on it a lot. We got the whole front end pretty much buttoned up on this thing, and now we can start building the rear, rear A-arm. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Thank you, Strapino, for sponsoring today's video, and we love you guys, and God bless.